So I'm super excited today to show you two beautiful villages here in the Rodopi Mountains. I have to honestly say I've not seen beautiful villages like this in the whole of Bulgaria. The architecture is like a fairy tale. Kovacevica is the first of the two villages I'll show you today. They are in the Dabrash part of the Rodopi mountain, which is in the western part of the Rodopis. This village had never been under Ottoman administration, so it was able to preserve all its Bulgarian traditions during the 500 year occupation. The Church of St. Nicholas which is a national cultural monument, was built in 1847. And the 40 foot, 12 meter high bell tower was built 53 years later in 1900. The village reached its peak of population of around 1700 in 1905. It then quickly decreased after World War II as most people moved to the big cities. Maybe there are about 30 permanent residents there today. There has been many Bulgarian films made here, such as The Tied Up Balloon of 1967 and The Goat Horn of 1972. It's evident that these villages get quite a few tourists as some of the signs are also written in English. In 1977, it was designated an architectural and historical reserve and this is maybe down to the way that the houses were built the architecture is very original and unique we also decided to take tea in a beautiful little restaurant the only place that seemed to be working at the moment during this time Tourists flock to its many guest houses to see the natural beauty of this part of the Rodopi mountain, like the valley of Kanina river or the natural reserve of Temenata Gora and the village of Leshten, which we will go to now. Consider supporting this video by hitting that thumbs up and helping boost the video to other people. And I have a question for you. Do you enjoy this kind of vacation in the mountains or are you someone who prefers a hot summer beach holiday? Write in the comments below. Now on to Leshton. Nowadays there's not many people living here also. Most of the buildings are summer houses or guest houses. But in the beginning of the 1900s it was a lot more busier with over 500 permanent residents. The tourism here is for people who are looking for alternative tourism. For peace, tranquility and the beautiful mountain air. The church of St. Paraskava was built in 1837. It had a school attached to it and was run by the priest. Now it's just recognized as a local monument of importance for the village's architecture and culture. At the top of the village, there is a beautifully made clay house it has a magical feel about it, almost like the Hobbit houses of the Lord of the Rings. This place is possible to rent for as little as 55 euros a night. There is many other guest houses around in Leshton, and I de definitely recommend if you are visiting the Rodopi mountain or want to see a beautiful part of the Rodopi mountain, that you check one of these two villages out. The only shop in the village of Leshton is full with the Mashni Produkti, homemade products as it comes from the village. Even souvenirs that are handmade, as you can see this lady in the shop making something at the moment. I just love to see this kind of thing, that people still take the time to do things they love and try to make money from it. That's it for this video. Just a quick reminder, hit that thumbs up to support this video. And if you want to see more videos like this and more videos about the beautiful Bulgaria, consider subscribing. We'll see you on the next one.